Okay, we're going to operate a reversing motor here. And we have our general sequence over here on the side. Uh, this is going to apply to the buttons on the 870 trainer. Uh, the black three position button where one is set to auto, the middle is manual, and the left hand side is reset. We're going to be using those and holding them in position uh, to move a motor either forward in reverse or not at all. Okay, and we are going to use the the green start button as well to start the cycle. So here's our general sequence. When the cycle select switch, that's the three position switch, is in the left hand, the reset position, and we press uh, push button one, which is the start button, we make the motor turn forward. Great. Okay, and the green pilot light turns on. So that's our green pilot light, the indicator here. When the cycle select switch is in the right hand side, that's the auto position, that pressing that um, causes the motor to turn in the reverse direction and the reverse indicator turns on. And then when we're in the manual position in the middle, the motor is not going to operate. When we release the push button one, the start button, okay, at any time, that's going to cause the motor to turn off. So that's where we want to start out with here in our ladder logic. All right, so in the first network, we're going to be going forward here. So this guy is going to control all of it. So he's going to be in front, the push button. So he's going to be normally open, okay, because when we push him close, that'll allow everything to flow. So this is I 0.0, .0 here. Then what? We need the selector switch to do what? Be in the auto position, which is forward. So this is our next input here. So I, sorry, this is 1.0. And I'm using the, the addresses that are assigned to the 870 IOS, the little handheld uh, simulator not the I.O. addresses that are physically on the 870 stations. Okay, so what we have to do, this guy has to be moved to the auto position, which would close him. We have to hit the button, and then what are we going to do? We are moving forward, right? So there's two forwards here. There's the actual motor that we're going to move forward, okay? And that over here, we're just going to indicate right here. This is the forward contact. This is Q 4.6. And what else do we need? We need to have a light that tells us that we are going forward. So this one is going to be, that's our indicator here, Q 4.0. Okay, you can kind of see that in there. Okay, this is the extent of our logic. Okay? We push the start button. We move the selector switch, the middle selector switch to auto, and we are going forward. Okay, now let's ha set it up for reverse. Same kind of scenario, because if this switch opens, it automatically closes and the motor's not running. So this guy's still up front. So this is I 0.0 .0 without pushing this start button over here, nothing will happen. Okay, we have our other contactor that's going to reverse the motor. So that's I 1.1. What's going to happen now? We need to what? Reverse the motor. So that's going to happen here with Q 4.7. And we need to also have our little indicator show that the motor is reversed. And that's Q 5.7. Okay, so this is reversed. So that's it. Okay, we push the button, and depending on where our selector switch is, right, our three posi position uh, selector switch, if it's in the right, the auto position, okay, so that's the auto position, and it's going to send our motor going forward, or whatever direction. We can call it clockwise. Um, if we're looking at a conveyor belt, we're talking about the conveyor belt going forward. Okay, until we let go of this button. Okay, we let go of the push button. It opens, nothing can energize. 
Same exact thing for the reverse, so if we're reversing the conveyor making it going the other way, or if we have the motor going uh, counterclockwise, let's say. We press the start button, and we let go of that, nothing gets energized. So this is when we move the selector switch over to reset. Okay? Remember that selector switch, just to recap, it's the, it's the black nozzle, but if we're looking at that, here's the auto position, here's the manual position, and here's the reset position. Okay, so that's what that selector switch over here looks like. So if we're in auto, here is I 1.0. We don't really care manual, it's not going to do anything. And we know that the reset is actually going to be our reverse, that's I 1.1. So this is forward, and this is reverse. Okay.